Ankita Chauhan from Mumbai. Sir, I worked as a software developer for 3.5 years and later moved to soft skills training due to job dissatisfaction. Left that as well and worked in sales for 3-4 years. At every point, the career transition happened because of my interest in those fields. But even after enjoying sales, I did not feel fulfilled. My aim always has been to work for a bigger cause and mission and help people, especially in the space of mental health, or solve a major world problem. I've experienced high energy levels and enthusiasm whenever I have worked for a cause, whether that involved writing a story, poem, or coaching students. Please advise on how I can channelize my energy. Ankita, my advice is already contained in your question. Do not get into anything small. If working for big causes is what you like, if you want to solve the crucial problems of mental health, or meet the major challenges facing humanity today, then that's exactly what you should do. Hmm? Few are there who, who, who seek a, a bigger sky, whose eyes look at a far away horizon, and the least such people can do for themselves is that they should not confine themselves into the patterns of a narrow life. All right, you have already tried out three, four things as you have mentioned and they did not uh, last long with you. Hmm? That is not uh, necessarily a bad thing to happen. If you find that uh, small things are not pleasing you to a great extent, it merely means that you have already tried your hand at multiple things and uh, besides giving you an initial feeling of optimism, they have not really succeeded in providing you with anything that lasts. So it is time to step out. Step out of your known areas, your comfort zone and the type of jobs that are easily available. It would be challenging and uh, obviously easy jobs are easy to find and that which would fulfill you might require a lot of effort to be searched but it's worth it. Hmm? Do not compromise. I just hope that uh, you haven't created uh, financial or familial um, liabilities or responsibilities upon yourself. Uh, otherwise it becomes a burden to carry and those who are to fight important and critical battles cannot fight with uh, burdens on their back so you have to keep yourself as free 
and as available to your core work as possible. Do not let your energies be dissipated. Do not let your attention be lost. It is not at all a bad thing if things aren't working out for you in the conventional sectors of the economy. Hmm? So go ahead and try out the things that are that are bigger, that are calling you and uh, do not be disappointed if the entire process takes long, if you meet with upsets uh, in the beginning and the, and the process of pinning itself might take many years. So you should be prepared for a rich and long haul. Hmm? So, yes, that is it. And drop expectations. The right work is its own reward. Nothing more should be expected from it. Feel grateful if you are able to do the right work. Do not ask how much you are getting from it, how much you are earning from it. If you will set all those things as conditions or criteria, then you will find that uh, staying in the right work becomes difficult for you. All right? So leap into it and leap into it for the sake of the work and be prepared to pay the price. Often it's not easy. So do not be surprised if you meet difficulties. Hmm? Smile that those difficulties are there. <laughs>